Hi, I'm Andrea of Bye Andrea Janssen and today we are going to prepare a French classic dish on a new way, the bœuf bourguignon. But we're going to prepare it in the slow cooker because it's very easy to prepare it that way. And we're going to start right now. Come on! Pet the beef steak dry with paper towels. Bake your bacon in a frying pan on low heat for about two to three minutes and take it out with a slow spoon. Then roast the vegetables in the same frying pan for about three to four minutes and also take them out with a slow spoon. Then add the meat in the frying pan and brown it on all sides. Put the veggies and the bacon back into the pan and add some pepper and salt and the flour and stir everything well. Fry that for about two to three minutes and put everything into the slow cooker. Add the wine to the frying pan and scrape off all the baking with a wooden spoon. Put the meat vegetable mixture in the slow cooker. and pour that wine into the slow cooker too. Add the tomato paste, the broth, the garlic, the thyme, and the bay leaf and stir everything well. And turn the slow cooker on, on the lowest heat for about six to eight hours. And now I've put all the ingredients for the buff bourguignon in the slow cooker. And we'll put it on on high heat about six to eight hours. And when the slow cooker is almost done, melt a tablespoon of butter in a pan. Add the small pearl onions and fry them until they're golden brown. Then add some broth, as much as you need to cover the onions. Let that simmer without a lid for 20 to 25 minutes until almost all the liquid has evaporated and the onions are nice and soft. Set that aside. When your meat is done, grab a bowl and put a coarse sieve on top. Pour the stew through the sieve and be sure to catch all the fluid in a bowl. Add the meat mixture back into the slow cooker. Then, pour the strained liquid into a saucepan and spoon off the fat with a slot spoon. Let the liquid boil on high heat for about 5 minutes. Then pour the liquid back into the slow cooker with the meat. My buff bourguignon is ready and the meat is tender and juicy and it smells terrific. This recipe is enough for 4 persons, but if you're in need of more, you can go to my website. It's got this great feature which will do the calculations for you. And we're going to enjoy our dinner. Bye! Thank you for watching this video. The full recipe can be found in the description below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment on this video. At my blog and at my channel, you can find over 100 delicious recipes that are all easy to prepare. 
and with one thing in mind, it's a good taste. Bye!